Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be giving you an introduction about Amazon Nova. So these models are being the latest introduced by in the reinvent 24 by an Amazon. So this Amazon Nova Foundation models basically are the frontier intelligence and industry leading price performance models. So it is based upon state of art foundation models that help us to deliver whatever intelligence and industry uh, leading price performance. So it is exclusively available on Amazon Bedrock. So we need to add the model before we start working with the Amazon Nova. So there are different um, versions are there. So I'll be quickly going through each of the versions and I will quickly give you a hands on it as well as I will give you a, a quick uh, tip on how we can use the APIs, Bedrock APIs in order to explore this model. So I will quickly jump onto the AWS console, just I'll directly give you the introduction from there. So you can have a quick review there. What are the different versions of this Nova model available? So you can see a quick a description about Amazon Nova. So you can see we have the understanding model. So basically two categories are there. One is the understanding models and one is the Nova creative content generation models. So basically when you want to uh, create some uh, like understanding models and you can go ahead with the uh, Amazon Nova Micro is there, Nova Lite is there, Pro is there. These are the understanding models that basically accept the text, image, or the video inputs and generate the text output. So they have like a, a good capability as well as accuracy uh, and speed as well as the uh, in terms of cost also, it is quite effective. It is much cheaper. So it is quite a cost effective. So we can have like a different kind of text images, all the videos as an input. So it will give you the complete details about it, a description about it. So again, it is a, uh, it is a, with Amazon Bedrock itself. So the work creative content generation. So if you want to create some images, create some videos, Create your reels by using this Amazon Nova, so we can utilize under the content generation models. So under this, we have the Nova Canvas, that is for the images, and Nova Reels for the uh, creating a videos. So while creating the videos with this using Amazon Nova Reel, we can also provide some image as an input in order to make uh, a more clear understanding, like okay, what kind of uh, uh, video we want it, or what kind of uh, content to be shown in the video so it will pick up the details from that particular image also so basically it accepts the text also as well as the image input also to produce some images and videos as output so we have like multiple approaches on this we can utilize this and we can also use ai with watermarking and the content moderation option is also there so as i told you the different versions are there so one is understanding models and one is creative content generation models so when we talk about this understanding models we have the nova micro so it's a text only model so i'm not going into details about this so you can give it a try but make it sure you add the models under the bedrock i will show you how we can add that then we have the nova light is there so it is low cost multi-model model that is lightning fast for processing your images video and text inputs so we can utilize this uh, make sure this number of tokens you can have a look and the number of languages that is being supported then we have the pro version pro model over here that is best combination of accuracy speed and cost for wide range of tasks so it is having more capabilities in terms of question and answer summarization any kind of mathematical reasoning software development also we can utilize it so it is more powerful then we have the premiere, it's still coming soon. Then we have the canvas. These are the generative models. So for creating the images, we can use the canvas. So it would create professional grade images from the text or images or whatever content we are providing. So we can have it. So maximum input characters is one zero two four characters. Then we have over here Nova Reel. So we can have maximum input character of five one two. So you can see uh, fine tuning supported is all coming soon. Still, it is being launched. So 
expect uh, lots of uh, you know, modifications, more robust, more powerful in future it will be. So in order to utilize this, I will just show you a small demo. So you can just go to your bedrock over here, Amazon bedrock. So you can see a model catalog over here. Oh, we can just directly jump onto the, uh, so you can see there are two options on there, chat, text, image, video. So I'm just showing you the image video. So you can see it will show you the list of models that you have already requested. So if it is not showing while selecting the models, you can see I have already requested this Nova uh, canvas and the reel. So suppose if you want to add some more, you can uh, choose over here, request. Make a sure you work in the US East region. So Nova, you will get it over there only. Okay, so you can see no worry, I've already added over here. So you can have no micro like this, you have to request the model. So then you go down over here and you can click next. So these models are, so we did not add any use case details. No use case details are required because no anthropic models were requested. So that's why we need not to submit any use case or something that uh, after submitting the use case, it will go for the review, whether it's uh, we are following the uh, standards or limits as per the requirements or not. So these are anthropic models, no anthropic models. So we can utilize it easily. So just click submit. Just you need to refresh your page and you will get the option over here in the model. So I'll just refresh this one once. Okay, let's see over here. So we selected the Nova Light. Okay, so you can, still it's not visible, but I just refresh this one. Sometimes it takes time. Okay, okay. Real is there, canvas is there. Let me check over here. Just now, will refresh. So you can check the status over here whether it is being uh, added or not. So let me scroll it down. Yep, it is there, Michael. Okay, let me just refresh. Okay, maybe it's taking time. Okay, in the meantime, I can show you some other option. Let's see, let's, uh, canvas, I am not showing you over here. I'll just actually jump onto the uh, reel over here. So you can see over here, either you can uh, upload an image over here in order to support here uh, the kind of video that you want to generate it. And here is the content. And it is basically, it, it processes like a job. So it will create a job ID and your video will be uploaded in a S3 storage. So we need to go there. You can see the bucket location. So we can go to the bucket and we can download our MP4 video. Moreover, a preview will also be shown over here. So let's type something over here. You can see we have a generate video option only. So it is initially we have over here just six seconds over here. It will it might take like around like five minutes, three to four, depending upon the description that we are providing. So let's see, uh, kid watching sunrise from. Let's see what kind of video is going to generate. So there are other options also. They start to frame. Uh, you can upload them. See this there. How many kind of how many videos you want? These are all are advanced configurations. So I'm just uh, hitting the run button with this. So it will take, it can take up to five minutes and you can see this is the location of our S3 bucket. So in the meantime, let's see why those models were not there. Let me check over here, select the model. Okay. It should reflect here, but I don't know. Sometimes it takes time to reflect over here.
Let me check over here one more time. Okay, so these are the base models over here. Okay, canvas is there, micro is there, it's there. Uh, maybe region, no. That's not region issue. Real is there. Even you can use the Python text and all those things in order to utilize it. But uh, why is not showing over here? Okay, actually we selected over here, image and video. We need to select over here, chat and text. Now, once we select the model, uh, you can see Amazon, you can see the micro over here. That was the reason. So basically I was choosing the wrong playground and I was looking for the image and the video, but it comes with the chat and the text. So you can see there are lots of, we have Rare Meta, Mistral AI, and Amazon, and that we have the Nova Micro. You can utilize this in order to uh, generate some text content demand. Okay, so let's go back to our, so you can just go through it and you can see uh, how does it works. This is our S3 bucket. Uh, I'm not sure about it, which folder it has created. It starts with E7. Okay, let's let's check over here. So you can see. Okay, it's still creating. They just created the manifest of JSON. It'll create the folder over there. So if you want to explore more, you can mm, not here. You can just go to the bedrock over here and you can check over here how we can create a job, get the model. So we can write the Python code for it. So these are the way how we can. So this is how we can utilize it. So we need to provide the JSON. So this is like all the API or all the available commands are there. So this is based upon the CLI. So we can utilize this. Okay, so you can see that uh, it's in progress. This job is in progress. This was my previous job. Let me try whether we can open this one or not. Okay, so this one was my previous one in which I just uh, requested for the kids eating a cheeseburger with knickers. So you can see it's quite nice. So this is how you can get a video. So still this one is in progress. Let's see. It will take some two, three minutes more. So you can explore this bedrock, how we can have with the APIs and all. Even uh, there are certain articles like over here, if you want, you can explore this one uh, through foundation over here. And you can see there is how we can utilize it in Python. So we can have our Bedrock Converse API, we're calling that. So we can have all the details. So whatever we are doing with the GUI, we can do it with the help of this Python code. So, but you need to, again, configure the AWS profile. Then you have to make it sure you always use a US East one region for this Nova and uh, the bucket where you want to get want to get the output. It's quite easy. So if you want to go through this, if you want to try on hands-on with the Python, so I will just provide the link in the description. So you can see this complete detail being provided by Danilo. So it's quite interesting. All the details are given over here. You can just go through it. Then it's been recently added to Stockholm. I'll just share in the description of the video. So let's go back. So you can see uh, my video is ready. So even I go back to the bucket over here, you can just refresh over here. So you can see here it is. So this is the output.mp4 video. The same is being shown over here. It's quite realistic. 
even you can have a reference image. Uh, even in certain videos, you can have the temp, like in the videos or pictures, you can have the like temperature, like, you know, like uh, various uh, modes you can set up. So all those advanced settings, you can also do it. It's quite interesting and quite realistic video. So try, give a try to this, no worries. And do let me know in the comment section video whether you like this one or not. And uh, do try to, uh, with the help of Python, also try to use the Bedrock APIs in order to create the scenario. And I hope you like the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.